We're here with Alex Loss of uh, at WeWork. Uh, you're an, an assistant community manager. Can you tell us what it's like? Uh, what's your job all about here? Absolutely. Uh, thanks for having me. Yes, well. Um, so I'm the lab's associate community manager here mm -hmm. at WeWork Nomad. Um, so there's only three WeWork locations that have a lab space. Mm. So the labs is, it's a very special, unique space. Um, so aside from selling the private office space, we also offer a cheaper solution in a shared space. Mm -hmm. Like, as I mentioned, only three locations have this. Each of those locations have their own labs community manager. Mm -hmm. So my job specifically is to really bring in unique companies, people that are going to really contribute to community and people that are going to really utilize all the amenities that mm -hmm. we offer for them. Mm -hmm. The way that it was passed down to me was that a lot of these guys dropped their jobs at Wall Street. They left everything they had at J.P. Morgan. Mm -hmm. They came here to us with $450 in their pocket and an idea. Some of these guys don't necessarily know anyone in the tech industry, in, in the tech world, yes. or in, in any kind of, they don't have the well connections. So my job here as the lab's community manager is to bring in those people. I want to be the person, I have to be that person that introduces them to their future co-founders or their future investors. Uh, my superiors are very well connected, the people that uh, started WeWork Labs, Matt Shine Pine and Jesse Middleton. Very well connected up there, so I tend to, I do one-on-ones with my members. I, mm -hmm. I learn what their goals are and what it is that I can do to help them grow their company from one to two to 20 to Fortune 500. So once I analyze all my information of the people that they want me to bring, I bring it to my superiors and I tell them, these are the people that I need you to bring in order to help my members grow. So you um, work more with people in the lab space than actually have the private offices? Correct. Oh, because they're just starting and you're not sure if they're going to succeed. So you want to give them all the support they can to... Of course. You know, um, yes, the labs is dedicated for early stage startups. Uh -huh. um, and it's a great opportunity. Um, some people handle it the wrong way because they just think it's the cheapest way to get into the WeWork system, and that's not what Labs is about. Mm -hmm. It's a much more unique and sophisticated um, program that we mm -hmm. offer, something that we're revamping to. We're trying to, we're trying to change that. We're going to start doing an application process and screening the people that are interested in getting space with us because, as I mentioned, it's not supposed to be the cheapest way in. It's, it's really supposed to be something special. Mm -hmm. um, what is your favorite part about working here? Um, meeting, meeting all these very motivating and inspiring entrepreneurs and and you mean yeah. you know, I think you've met almost everyone in the lab space what is your you know the most interesting startup that you've uh, learned about so far um that's a good question um so one I really enjoyed learning about was uh, one of our members Luis Romo mm -hmm. um his company's called Purple Sun mm -hmm. I don't really know exactly how to explain it too well but uh from what I understand he has a product that you go it's for emergency rooms and it um, what's the word I'm looking for? It desterilize it sterilizes everything. Yes. Um, by section, it, it just it does that make sense? You know yeah, that I mean? sounds like the different type of startup you usually hear about. Exactly, it's or medical website. equipment. Yes. Um, but so his his whole thing was you walk into an ER and mm -hmm. things haven't been cleaned properly mm -hmm. in a very long time. So he he made a machine that would with certain type of whatever it is tools. Uh, no, yeah. it's like a it's like a UV light even. Uh -huh. Wow. That it does each corner. It does like a maybe like a five by five. Oh, it kind of zaps everything by, so that it's by section. the bacteria. Okay. And then so it, yeah, it eliminates all the bacteria and then they just keep. Moving oh, that's pretty interesting. Maybe I'll go and be trying to meet. Yeah. Them. Any uh, advice you have to entrepreneurs starting up or afraid to rent a space, a co-working space? I mean, what do you? Um, you know, there's a lot of people they just left their finance job. They want to start a tech startup. Any advice? Something that you've gathered that. Is really helpful to people if they're they're losing it or not sure if they're going to succeed. Do you have any advice? Um, come to WeWork. Uh, we will we will help you grow your company. All right. Thank <laughs> you very much, Alex. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.